Leonardo Tonciulli, was an Italian serial killer, better known as the soap maker of Correggio. In 1939, Tonciulli heard that her eldest son, Giuseppe, was going to join the Italian army in preparation for World War II. Giuseppe was her favorite child, and she was determined to protect him at all costs. She decided that his safety required human sacrifices. She found her victims in three middle-aged women, all neighbors. Sources record that Leonardo was something of a fortune teller herself, and that these women all visited her for help. She murdered the three women between 1939 and 1940, and turned their bodies into soap and tea cakes. A number of artifacts from the case, including the pot in which the victims were boiled, are on display at the Criminological Museum in Rome. Police in Reggio Emilia, opened an investigation and soon arrested Chonchule. At trial she confessed everything, was found guilty of her crimes and sentenced to 30 years in prison and three years in a criminal asylum. Known as the Moore's murderer, and the most evil woman in Britain, Myra Hindley and her lover, Ian Brady, plotted and carried out the rape and deaths of five young children between 1963 and 1965, in and around what is now Greater Manchester, England. The victims were all buried on Saddleworth Moor. On October 6, 1965, Hindley's 17-year-old brother-in-law, David Smith, tipped her off to the police. Smith had witnessed Ian Brady killing 17-year-old Edward Evans with an axe, concealing his horror for fear of meeting a similar fate. On October 11, Hindley was charged as an accessory to the murder of Edward Evans and was arrested. She pleaded not guilty to all of the murders. Myra was found guilty of three murders, and was jailed for life. She was never released, and died in prison in 2002. Dorothea Puente ran a boarding house for the elderly in Sacramento, California in the 1980s, before it was discovered she was skimming money from her boarders' benefit checks and burying them in her backyard when they died from, she said, to be natural causes. Police didn't believe her, and she went on trial in 1992. Puente received life without the possibility of parole. She died in prison in 2011 at age 82. Janine Ann Jones is a former pediatric nurse, who killed somewhere between 1 and 46 infants and children in her care. Working at several medical clinics in and around San Antonio, Texas, nurse Janine Jones practiced possibly the most heinous life and death games in American history, injecting innumerable babies with life-threatening drugs. Jones seemed to thrill in putting the small children in mortal peril and thrusting herself into the role of hero when the children pulled through. Unfortunately, many did not. She was sentenced to 99 years in prison on February, 1984 and to a concurrent term of 60 years in prison on October of the same year. Aileen Warnos was an American serial killer, who killed seven men in Florida, USA, between 1989 and 1990. Warnos claimed that her victims had either raped or attempted to rape her, while she was working as a prostitute, and that all of the homicides were committed in self-defense. She was convicted and sentenced to death for six of the murders and was executed by lethal injection, on October 9, 2002. Vera Rinchtsi reportedly confessed to poisoning 35 individuals, including her two husbands, multiple lovers, and her son, with arsenic, during the 1920s. After the wife of one of Reinchtsi's lovers followed him to her residence one evening, and the man subsequently never returned home, the police were called to investigate his disappearance. Upon searching Reinchtsi's wine cellar, they discovered 32 unburied, zinc-lined coffins, each contained a male corpse in varying stages of decomposition. Rinchtsi was arrested and taken into police custody where she confessed to having poisoned the 32 men with arsenic, when she suspected they had been unfaithful to her.
Jane Topan was an American serial killer. Topan was a nurse with no conscience. During her residency, she used her patients as guinea pigs in experiments with morphine and atropine, she would alter their prescribed dosages to see what it did to their nervous systems. She began her killing poisoning spree in 1895 by killing her landlords. In 1899, she killed her foster sister Elizabeth with a dose of strychnine. By 1902, she had confessed to 31 murders. On June 23rd she was found not guilty by reason of insanity, and committed for life in the Taunton Insane Hospital. Mary Beth Rotinning is an American prisoner serving a sentence of 20 years to life, after being convicted of the murder of her ninth child, Dami Lynn. Though she confessed to also killing two of her sons, she is suspected in the death of all eight of her other children, who originally had been thought to have died of natural causes. All of Tinning's children died before their fifth birthday. All were smothered with a pillow. Mary Beth Tinning supposedly suffered from Munchausen syndrome, a psychiatric disorder wherein those affected feign disease, illness, or psychological trauma to draw attention or sympathy to themselves, although at the time the disease was unknown. She also admitted that she had been slowly poisoning her husband. He survived and later supported her at her trial. She's incarcerated at Bedford Hills Correctional Facility for Women. In Bedford Hills, New York. Juana Barraza is a Mexican professional wrestler and serial killer, dubbed the Old Lady Killer. The first murder attributed to Barraza, has been dated to the late 1990s and to a specific killing on November 17, 2003. The authorities and the press have given various estimates as to the total number of the killer's victims, with totals ranging from 24 to 49 deaths. Motivated by a lingering resentment against her mother, she robbed and strangled all her victims, who were between 64 and 79 years old. She was sentenced to 759 years in jail for 11 murders. Elizabeth Bottery was a countess and serial killer from the Bottery family of nobility, in the Kingdom of Hungary. She has been labeled by the Guinness World Records, as the most prolific female murderer, though the precise number of her victims is debated. Bottery and four collaborators were accused of torturing and killing hundreds of young women, between 1585 and 1610. The highest number of victims cited during Bathory's trial was 650. Despite the evidence against Elizabeth, her family's influence kept her from facing trial. She was imprisoned in December 1610 within Ksecht Castle, Upper Hungary, now in Slovakia. There, she remained imprisoned in a set of rooms until her death, four years later.